I'm fine. This is Colin McGregor for IFL TV. Glad to be on my Frank Smith. Frank, for the first time in your career, Edward Hearn gave up today. Yeah, what do you make of that? It's very telling, isn't it? It's very telling. He has one success and then, you know, he sort of stops. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not judging him just on today's performance. Uh, we'll see his comeback. Imagine that happened last week, Frank, on the big race day. What would you have done? Uh, I wouldn't have gloated. I would have been like, look, I beat an injured soldier. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we move on. Frank, uh, a few things. Jake Paul last night. Mm. What did you make of that performance? I think I could have knocked out Andre August like that as well. Uh, no, look, he's, he's obviously got a good uppercut, um, but he's not really fighting. Maybe you should fight Jake Paul. If I got fit, I'd have a go with Jake Paul. Do you think you beat him? I don't think I'd, I'd have given him a fucking good hide. For a round? No, I reckon if you got me fit, like if we trained for a year and we brought in the best team in the world, we spent like half a million on my camp. Do you give me any chance? No. Absolutely no, no chance. Give it Arnia. Huh? Give it Arnia yeah. out in a round. No, I'd just I'd keep it long off the jab. Keep it long. You're yeah. about five foot four. No, but I'd, I'd get some surgery to my arms, extend them a bit. Look, um, I don't believe you're going to be a world champion, but he's doing cool stuff. So good luck to him. He called out Vidal Reilly last night. I asked Eddie this question about a potential fight with Chef Clark. What would you? Uh, what? What? Jake Paul against Chef Clark? Yeah. Chef Clark would knock league. him cold, clean out. It was in about... It's a money fight for you guys though, right? Yeah, but he wouldn't fight him. Well, if you fight Vidal Reilly, he's going down the route of what the fight professional boxers who are established. You'd fight Chef Clark for the world title. Would you do that fight? Yeah. Where would you do that fight? Anyway. In your events, guy. Okay? Anyway, do you give Jake Paul a chance against Chef Clark? Are you not allowed to say? Are you? No, in all honesty, no. <laughs> I will, I'll give my opinion on that, but I think if, if he's going down the route of wanting to fight professional boxers, why not make that fight? Sweet, let's do it. Frank Warren had uh, some comments about you in a video with Charlie Parsons. <laughs> what did you make of those comments, Frank? I mean, he's right. I could have been one of the extras in the zombie film. I don't think they would have flashed my name up. I'm not quite on that level of, you know, Hall of Fame promoter yet. But I'll be so down. All, all, all respect for Zombie Frank. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to go and say a big hello to him next week. And uh, is that going to be your first time meeting Frank no, Warren in person? I'm, I met him a few years back. Not at work. It was alright, it was friendly. Um, I'm sure it will be very friendly. It's only a bit of banter, isn't it? Will you sit down with Frank Warren and the team there and speak about potential fights while you're in Saudi? Uh, yeah, I'm sure I would speak to George quite a lot. Um, so, yeah, whether Frank Warren wants to sit down with me, I don't, I don't know. But I'll be very friendly, Colin. I'm behaving. I've you're been given marching orders by Eddie. He said I can't say anything bad about Frank Warren. So if if we don't make the Jake Paul fight, would you make the Dev Sani fit? Frank Frank Smith, Dev Sani. In the in your call, it sells out, mate. Maybe we could do it next three ad season. Oh, since. Um who'd win, me or Dev Sani? I don't know, he looks like he'd have a vicious job. I'm not too really? sure. Yeah, he does. Like a little like pop to his job. Probably a bit overweight for him. He looks about eleven stone. Trick. Yeah, he doesn't look big, does he? I'd fight Dev Sani for charity. But I don't really want to fight him, I just want to be friends with everyone there. Frank Smith, always a pleasure, mate. Colin McGuigan, thanks very much. I'm fine. <laughs>